ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Prison Break Season 4 Episode 11 is here today. Hopefully you guys are ready to jump into some more Prison Break, man. Um, it's been a great day so far. One episode into my reaction section here. Getting started a little bit late. Um, as I told you guys in the last episode, did go to a funeral today, but that's neither here nor there, right? Uh, I'm sure you don't want to hear us more stories about a funeral i don't want to be morbid <laughs> anyways you know what to do guys if you want to watch more episodes of prison break and be ahead of the curve when we start a new show or anything like that you always know where the patreon is located man go check out the patreon um i'm trying to grow over there as well i'm planning to put a lot of new shows over there as well so make sure you go check it out to see if there's anything you want to watch i will be putting out a list of what's going to be on the patreon that's not coming to youtube anytime soon so make sure you go check it out anyways let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review <laughs> I don't think they, I don't think that, I don't think, this is nuts, because I don't think they're going to make it, man, <laughs> I don't, you know, there's no way he deserves any of this. Sing it, sister. After what he put me through? I can hardly believe it myself. Look, what we must do is make sure that cosmic justice rains down upon him. For once we obtain the good general's card, there ain't hardly nothing standing in between us and Mr. Feng's $125 million. <sighs> Holy shit. I was born on a mountainside. Mountainside doesn't even begin to, um... <laughs> I can't. Not today, Lord. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Not today, man. Today is supposed to be a celebration of life. No, no naughty thoughts. No, no, no naughty thoughts. Terabyte. No, no naughty thoughts. <laughs> bro, why are they doing this now, man? Come on, bro. Like, you already know how I feel about the the woman in this show like <laughs> bro gretchen sarah this new secretary girl <sighs> i mean we haven't seen what's her name sophia we haven't seen her in since episode one and she's a babe too and now they put gretchen in a school a uniform outfit like does it get does life get any better <laughs> you know i mean if i needed something to cheer me up there you go <laughs> holy crapola man man and i've been talking about her since season three because i'm just like even though she's like at it's not a girl that I would like fool around with in real life. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I would probably have a little fun, but I would never look to settle down with somebody who's like this. You get what I'm saying? Like her, the character that she plays. But, uh, wow. A woman like this, I really, I, I usually, you know what I'm saying? They... <laughs> You 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 can't you can't you can't say nothing, bro. Just keep both hands on the cap. Let's go. I don't think I could. Jesus Christ, the butt shot. Oh my God. You need to go get this surgery. Michael, 
Dr. Malden can see you today. He's given us his word he won't alert the authorities. If you put this off and you you collapse, you're going to be treated by another doctor. And you put a team, team in jeopardy, dice, too. They're not going to call the cops? There's still so much to do. Bruh, you need to go see... You need to go. Your life is more important than this shit. Three o'clock? He's if you guys are not there to make Last him keep that promise, wall, he's not gonna keep that promise. Back in Fox River with Michael. I just can't believe it's all coming to an end. He's gonna be okay. I'm scared too, but a hospital's the best place for him right now. He won't go without a plan to complete the job. Well, Alex and Fernando should be back soon with the video, right? Should be, yeah. So then all we need is the sixth card. Gretchen's work on that. You really think we can trust her? With the card? Absolutely. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? I have an appointment. Today. <laughs> you told me there was nothing to worry about. Shit, I would drop everything for it. <laughs> Just tell me it's not Gretchen. Oh, yes, it is. It's, it's a personal matter. I'm not going to discuss it. I don't trust her. That's nothing new. I'll be back in an hour. That man is like, I'll drop everything for that. Sheesh. What'd you find out? I understand, my I'm guy. Wait the whole time. <laughs> you sure you're all right? Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, we're breaking into company headquarters and, uh, You'll understand why we're all a little on edge. Understood. You know, I was thinking when your father approached me about doing this, I felt like I was uh, chasing a ghost or something, but because of the work you guys have done, today's the day. We're gonna take these bastards down. Well, we'll see. We got four hours. How come? I'm going in for treatment. Seller. Obviously, we've got a lot to figure out. Floor sensors can detect an added surface load of just two pounds. So we have to traverse the distance between the two walls without touching the floor. And do all that without generating any kind of body heat whatsoever. <laughs> of course, they have the latest in heat sensing technology. We make one wrong move. The camera goes on. And General Kranz knows we're inside. It's amazing. All this security, and only one man has access to video surveillance. The company doesn't want any record of what's going on down there. Can we access that elevator? No, it's right in the middle of the company building. There are ten layers of security. We have to go where they're not expecting us. We have to generate an electromagnetic field. To have uh, an electromagnetic field with the force that we want, we're going to need at least a couple of car batteries. Can you get that? Yeah, yeah. We can do this. Uh, what time are we expecting? Oh Richard my god, every six. time I see Sarah's face, she's such a good actress, dude. She's such a good actress. Every time I see her face, every time I see her face and the concern that she acts, it's like it's these <laughs> it's like it's real life, dude. It's like it's, it's like she actually cares about him. I don't know where she's channel channeling these the facial expressions, everything from is maybe because she's had somebody close to her. She's probably lost somebody close to her in real life that's, you know, that affected her maybe in this way, maybe you know, maybe somebody with cancer, maybe somebody who had a tumor. Maybe she's channeling that. But either way, wherever she's doing this or getting this from it's it's brilliant because every time she comes on screen with a concern for michael you can feel that she actually does care so much about him what took you so long so you know how i get when i'm hungry hungry for what so shriveled up dick oh, <laughs> 
almost wish there was What is this man? Like 70? Take off this jacket. Let me get in there. I didn't bring it with me. My card. That is what you're looking for, right? What are you talking about? Your card. You forget. I'm the one that taught you how to lie. I never thought that at the age of 63, I could still have my heart broken. 63? Why did you feel you needed to steal my card? Who are you selling it to? That, that's not why. Who? I'm the mother of your child. Please, for Emily's sake. Emily is his please, Jonathan, please. daughter? Ain't no damn way you had a kid with this dude. If I ever see you again, I'll shoot you on sight. Well, damn. How much is it gonna cost me to get that jacket off of you? Excuse me? Last day I'm ever gonna see you. Y'all covered up. I cannot abide. $100. You wanna pay me to take my clothes off? Not all of them, just the jacket. Mm. 200. I'm not gonna strip for you. Pity an old man. You're disgusting. And lecherous and vile. And soon to be First of all, that is sexual harassment on in, <laughs> in the workplace. Okay, we would be having a conversation is in HR immediately, sir. <laughs> immediately. Like, for real? You can't say something like that to an employee. Not even as a joke. <laughs> I mean, even some, even some of the things that that I've seen, even some of the things that I've seen is like, this is borderline. What you call it? What you call it? Um, like, niggas are getting locked up for shit like this these days, man. Like, it's it's crazy. Um, when you're talking about sexual harassment in the workplace, this is the kind of shit that they're talking about. It's not, oh, you know, um, telling a woman, cause you can't even tell a woman in the workplace these days. You can't even tell them, Hey, you look nice at work. Like only if you and them are, are like, cool, you could do that, but you could, but they could still report you. So you just, you just don't do it. So this is going way past that you know what i'm saying and then she's joking about it like <laughs> like no this is not realistic at all <laughs> you're wealthy beyond belief one thousand dollars why so modest all of a sudden call i need to see you in my office now seven days and six nights of non-stop pitching i personally clear fifty thousand dollars on most trips but for everything you've done, it's all yours. The least I could do. It leaves today. You go home and pack. I'll see you in a week. Unfortunately, I have some business I need to take care of right here. You know what? You know what the funny thing about it is? Uh, and the reason why. I, you know, I keep saying this, but I probably should make a t-shirt out of this at this. I trust the writers, okay? I do. It's probably the first show that I've ever said that about on, on this channel. Um, it, it probably is. It should be. I don't think I've ever really said that for any other show. But <laughs> either either way, the, the funny thing about this entire situation here that T-Bag is in is that he legitimately could have been a very good salesman. He didn't have to make the choice to be a murderer or an abuser, whatever the situation is. Like he just, he could have been, his charisma is excellent. In the show, I can imagine he's the same way, in, probably the same way in real life. You get what I'm saying? The actor that plays him. But the charisma that this character has in the show is perfect for who a salesman is because he sells you on who he is and what he represents. 
And if you are representing a company, it's not very hard for for somebody like this who has this kind of charisma to even not talk about a product to sell you on a product. It's, you know what I'm saying? I've been there. I'm not that great a salesman. I, I You can see from just me here, you like there's other people on YouTube that can, you know what I'm saying? They can go into their bag of um, charisma, if you will. For me, I'm just I'm just here to be me. You might like how I how I present myself and all this other stuff. That's why you guys, um, you know, fuck with me heavy. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm not a super char charismatic guy. Like I just I speak. Sometimes I can, you know, very, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I can drone on for 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 minutes on end some people get annoyed i don't care <laughs> you know what i'm saying at the end of the day i'm just saying like people like this are more um receptable you know what i'm saying when it, when it comes on to um how they speak how they present themselves so he could have easily been a great salesman that's why i said um he could just be him even when he went into that meeting i could have said he just could have been him and he still would have been able to convince them to do stuff don't really have to practice anything just be himself tell a story whatever the situation is a great salesman you know what i'm saying doesn't drone on about you know what exactly something is going to do they explain benefits right they um they basically tie back to something relatable that's what you do as a great salesman. You know what I'm saying? FOMO, fear of missing out. You use those things as a salesman, but you can't just be saying things, you know what I'm saying? Just because you've rehearsed things. When you kind of freeway a lot of, you know, have this free way of thinking when you're a salesman, you'll get more sales that way because you make things relatable to your potential customer. So... You're sure she's a fed? Wouldn't take off her jacket for a thousand dollars. She's got a gun under there. It's a complication. Well, that's a nice way to put it. It's sort of like you not getting the sixth card. What are we calling that now? A setback? Relax. You have any idea what I'm giving up here? I was guaranteed 50 grand. You're crying over $50,000? Are you serious? I have a job. I make money. I get mail. People call me sir. Working 12 hour days and get <laughs> left over Lomain. Something tells me Theodore Bagwell wouldn't last long in this situation. Yeah, maybe. But Cole Fife, I would. You want to pout? You do it tomorrow. We have work to do. So, where are we? <sighs> Gretchen didn't get us a six card. We need that six card, Don. I know. If we don't get the six card, we're never going to crack. Soda. I know it. What else do we know? What else do we know? Well, we know they're moving Silva today. We know we can't just waltz into the general's office and steal that last card, so where does that leave us? And there's got to be a way. There has to be a way. Not without losing another man. Believe me, I spent the last week trying to figure out how to get that sixth card, and every scenario ends with a gun to someone's head, and that is not acceptable. You know, Gretchen did pass on this one piece of information for you. This could be helpful. I was expecting the next time the three of us would be in the same room together, that you'd have something for me. That was our expectation as well, but we've hit a few bumps in the road. Now, to ensure the item's safe recovery, we need your help. All that avails is flight. Maybe my father was onto something. If they all die because we tried to take down the company and I survived because because I called in sick. Yeah. How am I gonna live with myself? You're gonna get through this. I'm not going to the hospital. What? Link, just get in the car. I'm going with you. Uh, it seems like Sarah okayed it. 
This is usually given to epileptics. It will suppress the rapid firing of neurons for the next three hours, making it unlikely that you'll have a seizure in that time. But Michael, any added mental or physical stress? I get it. I mean it. I don't want you to move unless you absolutely have to. And as soon as this is over, I'm taking you to the hospital. Is she dead? Let's just say she won't bother either of us anymore. But I do want Scylla moved right now. Mechanics are on the tarmac inspecting the C-130. When they sign off, we'll be ready to move. Call the other card holders, get them in here. Just for our clarification's sake, the sixth card is part of the to-do list, right, gentlemen? Schofield before, both with him and against him. There's no way he's going down there without a plan to finish the job. I got a call from an old friend. Heard Scylla was in play. He wants to know if he'd get in on it. A bidding war? He's prepared to offer 200. Is he for real? I don't know. I've set up a safe house where we can hear him out. Do you have a pen? Just a minute. They're setting her up. This is it. Does anyone have any questions about what they're supposed to do? The hole you drilled in the wall this morning. Once we get over there, if we make too much noise, the sound waves will travel through the wall and get picked up by the sensors on the other side. So from this point on, we need absolute silence. Man, oh man. We have to break through two walls, one concrete, one glass. And do it without making a sound. Yeah, you planning to drill through in order to glass through without the, making a sound? To generate an electromagnetic field. Okay. Starting with the concrete wall, so great you were drilling there, right? Yes, fortified with steel fibers, just like you said. Bruh. If they even drop... <laughs> Yo, they can't make like anything over ten decimal decibels, which is <laughs> bruh. Set right through the wall. Oh, so the umbrellas was to catch the debris on the other side. You we'll need somebody to analyze all of this, see if this is actually doable. Woohoo! Oh, so the liquid nitrogen is to like cool the room so it fools the the heat detector yo if if there's a crack bruh bro this is too tense this is too tense, this is too tense bro what no like sucre don't drop it, man. Oh! Yo, we had to catch that so fast. Yo, look at this man, bro. Mission impossible. He 
he has to help pull him up, but what happened? It's, it's only built for one, maybe. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> This is it. 1917 Piermont Avenue. Okay. When was the last time you swept the room? The Academy. All right, just follow my lead, okay? Because Gretchen and Bagwell have no respect for human life, okay? They go for a weapon, you shoot. Okay. They try to run, you shoot. But if they do anything, they kneel down and put their hands behind their head. I shoot. Don't miss. As if, if it's a house with multiple rooms. See, they're both looking the same direction. You can't have that. Agent Self. We've been waiting. She just caresses his face. Light on the C-130. Oh, the two of you is a match made in heaven, to be Stop. honest. Both crazy ass. Jeez. This wall. Why does he have to do this part? They can't say nothing. They can't holler at him. They can't be like, Michael, are you okay? They can't say shit. Man, if he falls off of this thing, I don't understand. Why does he have to do this? I gotta probably cut, cut it. Horn and Edison are standing by. Scuderi was in Las Vegas. You think we could get the state of Nevada to outlaw gambling? I somehow doubt that. His plane will touch down within about an hour. Then you can make your lunch. I would rather stay. Now, more than ever, we need to support law enforcement. I will call you when we're ready to move. General, There's I... There's nothing more for you to worry about. Even she is... Really beautiful as well. Lisa, whatever her name is. Very good work. Yeah, now you the old... <laughs> now you the side chick. Hope you feel happy. What is that? Just a big-ass PC? <laughs> that thing looks like... Tower PCs. What it looks like. There must have a pressure plate on that. You got it. It's no way there's no pressure plate there. There has to be a pressure plate there. Well, now your shirt is off. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you should have probably took the money. Downstairs now. It's a pressure plate, man. And ooh, Gretchen, though, uh, shit is still on my mind. <laughs> Anyways, man, that was episode eleven of Prison Break, man. It's one of the, the one of the things about this show, man, that, and I say this a lot, I know. Um, the intrigue, the intrigue of the show, and it brings a lot of multifaceted, different kinds of things to, um, to this, to the show itself. 
I mean, we're getting some Mission Impossible stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, breaking into vaults and all that stuff. All stuff that I love to see in movies, you know what I mean? Like, you can make a whole movie about a bank robbery. I'll probably watch it and still, I still enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? It's just how you do it, you know what I'm saying? I could give you some great, like, bank robbery movies that was really really good that i really enjoy one that um really pops out just that movie with um clive owen and i think denzel washington was it denzel is it denzel i think it's denzel washington and clive owen i don't remember the name of the movie but you can look it up i'm pretty sure it's the only movie they've ever done together <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's the only movie they've ever done together um you know, I don't remember the name of it, though, man. I really don't remember the name of that movie. Um, let me see if I can find it really quick. So just in case you guys want to watch it. Um, is it Inside Man? I think it's called Inside Man. I think it's called Inside Man. I think it's called Inside Man. Yes, that's the name of the movie. Inside Man. <laughs> that's the name of the movie. I remembered it just before I got it. I think, yeah. Inside Man is the name of the movie. One of the best bank robbing movies that I've ever watched. Great twist and everything in that movie. Check it out if you ever get the chance. I love movies like that. I mean, they're not going to be like top 10 movies of all time or anything like that. But they're movies that you'll watch and you'll enjoy um, for sure. So... Um, so those elements, bringing those elements to this, I mean, we're so far gone from prison break. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the actual name of the show has nothing to do with prison break anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like from, you know, season three kind of went back to that. And then now in season four, now we're, we're taking it to the, to the, to the company. And that's really good to see. So now that's why I'm saying, like, why would you put that just out in the middle of nowhere? All the security around it and you do not have one specific thing where that thing is placed because obviously it's just sitting in a room um when they want to access it they can access it but at the same time what if somebody tries to move that thing why wouldn't you have it on a pressure plate alarm like that's what i that's what i would it's kind of like what they put things on in museums um which is yes it's not only happens in movies guys this is something that is actually done in in museums um where to to avoid people just stealing stuff because you can't watch everybody at every corner in, in museums because they're like people come and they visit these visit this stuff so if somebody smash a glass to 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 you know take something or if they you know what i'm saying or if something is just sitting there that you can touch you know they put it on pressure plates so that you can't remove them and stuff like that so that there's an alarm because you can't because there's so many people inside of a museum at any given time you can't really track all of that all the time yes you may see the person on camera but you're probably not looking at that particular camera at that particular time so pressure plates are a real thing in real life just like how sucre said not um stepping on a mine you know what i'm saying it's somewhat of a pressure plate um when it comes on to um, a mind structural whatever <laughs> right can't find the words to describe it you know so this was an excellent episode man but i don't understand why michael had to be the one to go in there that was kind of like weird to me why he had to be the one you know what i'm saying um it's kind of weird that he had to be the one that go across there cut the glass it's as if nobody else could have done it we have three other com uh, com three ha th three other competent men there why michael the one who's has a tumor in his head having faint spells and all of this other stuff um even though sarah gave him that thing you know what i'm saying like you know why he had to be the one that was kind of strange to me why was that why was that decision made you know what i'm saying um so yeah he he looked like he tampered with it and they and the general was alerted so he's on his way down there he knows that he's in there and he had remember that the general had also had confirmation that michael is dead so seeing him there that's going to surprise him and also with them not knowing what's going on them planning to move Scylla, he's gonna be pissed if he loses Scylla here i hope 
they do. I hope they lose Scylla here, even though there's also the other element of Gretchen and Teabag waiting for them to come through that door so they can take Scylla. This is going to be one hell of a next episode, and I'm ready to watch it. Um, one thing before we go, I have to um, do my daily simping, right? My daily simping, Gretchen, my dear. <laughs> my dear, you... You probably have stolen my heart for one episode longer. You will not get that chance again. <laughs> okay. This was, it was a sight to behold. Because I've always thought, I've always thought of her, the, the actress that played her as, you know, like, not necessarily, I wouldn't say she's an extraordinary beauty, but she is a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? From the first time she appeared in season four, when we saw her on screen, I think it was in episode one. When I saw her, I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was one of those things, man, where I saw her in this, and I was like, man, generally, you a lucky man. You was, you was creaming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not to get too nasty, but he was creaming all up in that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have never thought that Emily was his kid. I would have, that never even crossed my mind for a second because I thought she was just with him for just with him. But obviously they were together together. Like she was really with this dude. So I, I thought it was just because, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, she was just probably like, she was just like a side chick for him or something of the sort and, you know, probably got out of hand or she was just doing that just to be close to him and stuff like that because she probably has abandonment issues um and i was just thinking too much into it, it you know what i'm saying so in any case <laughs> in any case um gretchen is gretchen I, I love the outfit i'm pretty sure that she's probably somewhat uh, i'm pretty sure if i looked up that picture on google i could probably find it <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm getting carried away here. Getting carried away. But anyways, man, this was a great episode. I enjoyed it a lot. It was great. It was great. It was great. It was great. You know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, it, she left an, uh, a great impression on me to say the least. Anyways, see you guys for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>